Welcome to SunPower Equinox Pro Tips, making field wireable connectors. This video will demonstrate how to properly make a field connector at a site for any open connector or center feeding any section of cable within branch limits. You can do this with female or male connector types. You'll need diagonal cutters, wire strippers, an MC4 crimp tool, a disconnect tool, two adjustable pliers, manufacturer approved cable, and a razor knife, plus a field wireable connector kit, which consists of a connector body, cover, terminals, a gasket, and a nut. Begin by determining the length of cable you need. Use the diagonal cutters to cut the cable. The connector nut width doubles as a jig for how much wire to strip from the outer trunk cable. Measure with the nut and then use the razor knife to strip 1 and 1 16th of an inch of the black outer jacket from the cut end of the cable in order to expose the black and red conductor insulation. Be very careful not to cut into the insulation of the conductors beneath the sheathing. Slide the connector nut from the connector over the cable with its threads facing the cut end of the cable. Then, ensuring the pre-installed gasket is in place, Slide the connector cover over the cable with its large opening toward the cut end of the cable. Slightly separate the exposed black and red conductors. From each conductor, strip 3 eighths of an inch of the insulation. Use the 12 AWG slot of the MC4 crimping tool to secure a terminal to the red conductor. Be sure not to crimp over the insulation. To prevent moisture from entering the connector, be sure the cable sheathing extends through the body and the gasket cover fully covers the cable sheathing. Only use the terminals provided with the connector package. Release the crimp tool and tug the terminal to test the integrity of the crimp. Repeat these same steps for the black conductor. Carefully fit both terminals into the connector body at the same time. You should hear a click for each one. Tug on the conductors to ensure that each is fully seated in the connector body. Fit the connector cover over the connector body. Once again, you should hear a click, letting you know it is fully engaged. Tighten the nut until there are a maximum of two remaining threads exposed on the connector cover between the nut. You have successfully created a connector. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, check out the description for links to helpful resources and other training videos.